Hi everyone, in this video I'll be doing a backup of an individual partition in CloneZilla. I have this E drive here, it's called Games, and this partition is 14.6 gigabytes. And about 2 gigabytes is used, and I'm going to use CloneZilla to make an image of this partition, the E drive, and then I'll be storing it on my G drive, which is roughly 32 gigabytes, and is named USB drive. So you can use CloneZilla to do multiple partitions, so for example the F drive as well, or you can do the entire computer, but I'm just going to be doing just this one partition, the E drive. After it's imaged, I will then delete everything in the drive here, and then I'll do a restart from the image. I'm going to restart now and load up CloneZilla. Okay, it's loaded up CloneZilla. I'm going to pick English, keep the default keyboard layout. I'm going to start CloneZilla. And I'm going to pick the first option here, device-image, work with disks or partitions using images. CloneZilla here is asking where the image will be saved to or read from. And I'm going to be picking local underscore dev, the first option, use local device, because I'm using a USB drive. So pick the first option here. And then now it's going to look for the USB devices on the machine. So just hit enter and it'll do a scan. Okay, and we see here it's scanned and it's found two disks here. And the first one is where all my drives are with C drive, D drive, E drive, and dev slash SDA is my USB drive. It's about uh, 32 gigabytes. So it's found them. So you hit control C. So on this screen here, it has found all the partitions on the disks and it's asking where it's going to put the CloneZilla image repository. So where it's going to read or save images and it's going to be down here, the last one, SDA2. This is my 32 gigabyte USB drive. So this is where it's going to be put. And so I'm going to select this option and hit enter. And it's asking to do a file system check and I'm just going to say no because I know there's no issues. So I'm going to hit no and then the tab and I'll hit OK. And then now it's asking which directory is the CloneZilla image repository located. So it's located under images. I have an images folder here. So I'm going to pick that. And then after that, hit tab twice and go to done and hit enter. And then now it's going to mount it. So we see here slash dev slash SDA2 and then my folder images. And I'm going to hit enter. CloneZilla now is asking the mode to run. I recommend just going into beginner. And then now it's asking what you want to do. Do you want to save disk or just save parts? Since I'm going to be doing just that one partition, I just want to save a part. So save parts, save local partitions as an image. So I'm going to hit enter. And then now it's going to ask me for the name of the image that I'm going to be creating. So this is going to be the games partition. So I'll just call it games partition. And then I'm going to hit tab and OK. CloneZilla now is asking for the source partitions to save. So it's going to be my E drive. And so I'm going to go down and we see it here. It's 14.6 gigabytes and it's games, that's the name of it. So I'm gonna tick off this box here, hit the space bar. And then so this is the partition that I want to save. And then so I'm gonna hit tab and go to okay. It's asking for compression and I'm just pick the default. So the first option and I'll hit okay. And then now it's asking to do a file system check. I already know that there's no issues on this partition, so I'm going to skip it. So I'm going to hit OK. It's asking here if you want to check if the image is restorable after it's done. Yes, I want to check the image. I want to make sure that everything is OK after the process. So I'm going to hit Yes and hit OK. And do you want to encrypt the image? Yeah, I'll encrypt the image. So then I'll pick the bottom option here, encrypt the image, and I'll hit OK and then the action to perform when everything is finished. So you get to choose here. I recommend just selecting choose, reboot, shutdown, etc. when everything is finished. So you can see the process, make sure everything completed successfully. So you can pick the first option and hit OK. And then 
it shows here at the bottom the command that you can run in the shell if you want to do this directly. And then so hit enter. Now it's asking for a password for this image. So I'm going to put in a password. Okay, and now it's asking us the following step is to save the hard disk partitions on this machine as an image. And then so here is the 14.6 gigabytes NTFS. It's the games partition. Yes, this is the one. So I'm going to hit yes. Okay, it's done imaging. It says check successfully. The image of this partition is restorable and all the images of partition or LV devices in this image were checked and they are restorable. So that's good. And I'm gonna hit enter. And then now it's asking what you want to do. So I am going to go in reboot. So I'm gonna pick the reboot option. It's back in Windows, and if I pull up Windows Explorer, I go into my USB drive, go into the images. Here it is. Here's my folder that I created in Clonezilla. And here are all the files that are in here. Okay, and if I go back to my PC and my games, so here are the directories. So if I format this, and I hit start, yes, and I close. And so there's nothing in my games, my E drive partition here. So now I'm going to restart using Clonezilla. I'm going to restart. English, keep default keyboard layout, start Clonezilla. So it's device dash image, local dev. And it's going to do a scan. Okay, it's found the disks. Hit Control C. So here I'm gonna pick the USB drive. That's where I have my image. So that is where Clonezilla is gonna read the image from. So it's SDA2, so hit OK. I'm gonna do no file system check. And then it's under the images folder on here. So I'm gonna hit images and hit OK. And then I'm gonna leave it here. You don't have to pick the folder, you just leave it here because this is the root directory of the image repository. So you just hit tab and then you can go to done. And then it's mounted it, so hit enter. Beginner. And then so here, I'm gonna be doing restore parts. So restore an image to local partitions. So pick this option and hit okay. And it's asking, choose the image file to restore. So this is it, the game's partition. So I'm going to select it, hit OK. And then choose the partitions from this image to restore. There's only one partition here. So this is the one. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's asking me to target where it's going to be put on. So then it's going to be here. The 14.6 gigabytes NTFS games partition here. So this is the one. So I'm going to hit OK. And then you can check the image before restoring. I'm going to skip this because I already checked it when I made the image. So I'm going to skip it and I'll hit OK. And then the action to perform when everything is finished. And then so I'm going to pick the first option like before. Just choose and then hit OK. And then I'm going to hit Enter here. It's asking for the password for my games partition image. So I'm going to put it in. And it succeeded in decrypting it. And here it's saying the following step is to restore an image to the hard disk on this machine. And the image was created that it gives the timestamp on it. And it gives a warning. And the existing data in this hard disk will be overwritten. And so it's confirming if you want to do this. So yes. And it's asking again, just to confirm one more time. And then, so I'm going to hit yes. So here it's just checking the partition, making sure that everything is okay. Everything is all right. 
and so there are no issues seen here so I'm going to hit enter to continue and then now what I want to do is reboot so I'm done restoring the image so hit reboot So I'm back in Windows, and if I open up Windows Explorer, go to this PC, my games, E drive, and we see everything is back in here, and 12.6 gigabytes free, so there's two gigabytes used. So the restore completed successfully in Clonezilla. So that's how you do a backup and restore of individual partitions in Clonezilla. Thank you for watching. Bye now.